take me inside the building. Why can't you just tell me right here so I can call without finna get wet? <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> That's a joke, man. Why can't you know? This is not supposed to park here. Sergeant Sanders is the one who will get you told. Okay. I'm the what one. The Sergeant Sanders don't know. worry about this. Listen to me talk. Don't interrupt me. I'm the one who will find you a parking place. Okay? He the one that will enforce you. You can't see here zero. But the I security guard here, previous to you I don't care. said we can park And he right on here. the way here right now. I know who you're talking about. The little skinny guy. Yes, he's still here. With the vest. Okay. Yes, he's still here. Okay. He's still here. But you cannot park here. So one of your guys says we can park here, and then you just come over here being irate. Like, you don't care if we park here or go park somewhere else. And my point is that. So what is your sergeant Don't know? worry about it. You ain't getting it. Why? Be up here at 10 o'clock. That's who's going to relieve me at 10 o'clock. Be sergeant. What is his name? Sergeant Sanders. And why won't you? You're refusing to give me his phone number. Because I don't want to. I don't have to. That's how you treat us truck exactly. drivers. Exactly. <laughs> what is your name? I'm Officer Holt. Who are you employed by? Don't worry about that. You'll find out from the side. I'll talk to the manager in here. Good. Matter of fact, go ahead for the show. Enough move that. <laughs> okay. You just don't make no sense, man. No, you I ain't got to talk to nobody like that. I don't care. I don't care. I, wouldn't nobody rude to Breaking you? Breaking news. I wouldn't nobody don't said care. nothing to nobody. At the Loves here in Memphis. Y'all will. At the Loves. We get the ass kicked. <laughs> One shot. Make sure you record that too. Are well, you threatening me now? That's Emily at the I mean, I ain't yeah, said that. Emily at the Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. I mean... After watching this video, it had me scratching my head on, on a lot of things. I mean, how, how people treat one another. And I'm not going to make this a racial uh, thing or anything like that. I'm just making it as a human thing. Like, like for example, like... Did did do really have to come to uh, the truck driver like that? You know what I'm saying? I mean, he came to him calm, peaceful, and he told him that what the supervisor, the sergeant. He said the sergeant was the one that gave him permission to move, to park in the spot where he's at. He's bob telling. He's not bothering nobody. So you can actually get a bobtail in a parking spot without bothering any other cars in the area. Here come this dude, this black gentleman, accosted him by saying, you can't stay there, uh, yada, yada, yada. He's being rude, he's being unprofessional. His demeanor is just garbage, you know? And then on top of that, going to threaten the young man? For what? What was the point? What was the point of all of that, bro? Like, you're going to threaten this man just because he parked up front. You don't have no type of authority, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're a security guard. You see what I'm saying? Just a security guard. So... Of course, guys, uh, I am Lockout Man. Um, I'm, I'm here editing this, uh, this piece for you guys right quick. Uh, I'm here to let you know that I, I reached out to Andrews, uh, Joshua Andrews. Uh, that interview will be coming up shortly, which was an awesome interview. But unfortunately, we couldn't talk about the incident because, you know, he acquired an attorney and his attorney said that, Yo, I, I don't want you to talk about this no more. And uh, he got to follow what his attorney says, you know. So, But we, we turned around and talked about other things. And it, it turned out to be a spectacular episode. So definitely be on the lookout for that. You know, Joshua Andrews, good guy, nice guy, polite guy. You know what I'm saying? 
I mean, you know, he he was a uh, he he was a stand up guy, but the the officer, no, no. In this episode, though, I make a call to loves. Uh, I I read in one of the articles that loves had responded to the situation. Uh, to the situation, um, I didn't get a chance to talk to anybody in the media department. Uh, like the other article said, they they spoke to a Caitlin uh carpenter carp carpenter or something like that i'm not sure but i wasn't able to get a hold of her nor the other gentleman that i that i found in the phone number either i wasn't able to find uh neither one of them but i was able to talk to someone in the customer service department that gave me a little bit of information that i pretty much already knew um she said that you know loves looked into it uh, the gentleman, the security guard is no longer with, you know, is banned from the property. So is he banned from that loves right there? Or is he banned from all loves in general? So I, I asked the question, um, what about the company that employed him? Because if he's not employed by loves, he's employed by a third company, a third party security company. And, um, you know, I I I I go to ask questions, and you know, she wasn't she she wasn't able to answer them. But you know, she talked to me. So stay tuned to the end of this video for that uh, for that conversation that I had with the uh, with the uh, with the customer service rep. Shout out to Loves, man. I mean, mind you, that I was uh, at that particular Loves. That loves that loves right there is off of Lamar Street, and that is a tough neighborhood where that loves is at. Technical difficulties as always, but I am back. But as I was saying, that particular loves is in Lamar or it's in Mississippi, but it's on Lamar Street, the same Lamar Street where lot lizards, holes. Night walkers, whoever you want to call them, they all up and down that street. It's also the same uh, street where the two loves, or I'm sorry, the two uh, pilots, which is farther down. And next door is the rundown Mites Trust Stop. Yo, make sure you guys go back and check out Lot Lizard. Uh, that video right there. Yo, definitely check that out. Uh, we about to get back into the we about to get back into the video, man. Um, like I said, uh, I, 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 us truck drivers go through so much, man, that we we don't need this type. We don't we don't need this type of a uh, hassle. You know what I'm saying? We really don't. We really don't. But it is what it is. You're gonna run into irate people all the time. It's just how you want to be, how you present yourself to them. And how you want to be presented by by them. That's all. So let's get back into this video. And um, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys later in another video. If you like, comment, subscribe, share, and hit that bell on the way out the door. I really will appreciate it. Thank you. Let's get back into this video, man. He believes that Bob tells the pop on the front fog a lot. I went out there and reinforced it, so he wants to give me a mile. No, there were two of us parked out there the side right? on the front lot. The gentleman that's right at the front door, I was actually parked in another spot. He come knock on the door. He's like, hey man, you ain't person to park out here, but the back's full. If you don't mind, just pull over on that side lot so you're out of the way. Very nice, professional. This man comes out there, knocks on the door. You know, he's like, hey, you can't park here. So I let him know that I didn't know he was still here. His other superior guy said that we could park here. He said, I don't care what nobody said. He lied to you. The superior is the one who enforced that. So well, you, the, you, you superior are the, the superior at the time, I just mean this no, gentleman here lying. Lying. that was here. They don't lie for Bob Taylor in front of the period, did they? Oh, if today, today we did. Because we let a couple there, but because once it starts old. getting crazy full, we got to find a we, we let the Bob Taylor go to the front on the left side. How long are you going to be there? Probably about three more hours. Okay, so your time's up. 
Okay. I asked for the gentleman's number, his superior's name, his boss. He refused to give it to me. Okay, he works for us, so. Okay, so I told him, I said, man, that's crazy, as he was walking away. So he turned back around and came back to me, and I said I'd talk to the manager in the store, and he told me I'd get my ass knocked out here at the Loves. I'll deal with that, man. That he didn't give a shit where we parked at, we could find somewhere else to park. Well, like I said, mean, this is a truck stop. Like you said, when you're you know, three hours up, you need to be gone. End of story. Have a nice day. Okay, so can I have this gentleman's supervisor? I'll, I'll take care of them. They work for us. I'll take care of them. They work for a third, a third party that we deal with, so we have daily conversations with them. So I'll take care of the situation, sir. Thank you. Sir. Sorry about that. Appreciate it, man. All right. I had to come back one more time. Sorry. I, I had to come back one more time. I mean, dude, I mean, big man with authority try to act all hard and shit like, yo, after three hours, you got to go. Man, come on now. Come on now. You're a rental cop. Why don't you sit your rental cop ass down and do what you're supposed to do and run away them lot lizards? That's what you do. Run away them lot lizards. You don't run away truck drivers because right now you running away a potential business. Don't you know us truck drivers? Few, I mean, with the that's that's more that's that's like ninety percent of their business is from truck drivers and people like you is 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 running them away because. Not only that it's 2020, not only that everybody got cell phones, not only that everybody got cameras, but social media is a powerful thing, bro. Where you at now? Where you at now? You're not at the loves. I, I, and I am I, I'm not sure if you're still with the company you would either, bro. I'm just saying. You know, you representing that company in a bad light. I, I don't know. We need to find out. Thank you, my love, because my service is Tammy. Hey, Tammy, how's it going? It's going fine, and yourself? Uh, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. My name's uh, LaShawn, and I'm with uh, Lockout Men Podcast. I am trying to get a hold of someone in the uh, PR department to... Uh, discuss about the incident that happened at the Loves up in uh, Mississippi, Tennessee, uh, with the young uh, with the young driver. Oh, okay. I'm not sure about that, but let me see if I can get you transferred over. All right, all right. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. And you said somebody with public relations. Uh, well, I was trying to, you know, I was doing my research. And I was trying to get a hold of, I believe this is Caitlin. Uh, she was like in media, media relations or something like that. I was trying to, Caitlin Campbell, media relations specialist. I was trying to get a hold of her, but I am not having good success. So I was just kind of wondering, you know, other than her, you know, I'm, sure somebody else work in the department with her that can that can uh that can conversate with me uh about you know what was there what, what's your guy standing on um you know after the security guard was caught threatening the threatening joshua so i was just wanted to get a comment on that oh, okay you said um the lady's name is caitlin with a c or a k uh with a c with a C. Caitlin, C A I T L I N. I'm pronouncing that right, Caitlin. I'm never good with names. L I N? Yeah. I'm I'm never good with names. It's C A C A I T L I N. Campbell. In her last name? Campbell. Campbell. Mm hmm. Look at the information. I don't show a Caitlin Campbell. Let me see who I can get you transferred over to. One moment, please. Okay, I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so thank you for holding. I do apologize for the wait. Mm -hmm. um, what I would advise is that mm -hmm. I need to um, let you know that the incident has been resolved. 
Okay, okay, okay. I understand that that it was resolved, but is there anybody that can that can that can you know comment with me about it? I mean, you know, like what was the resolution? Uh, what what you guys stands on it? You know what I'm saying? You know, just get a quote or two. Well, what we advise is that um, that we do take this um, situation seriously, and and we do not tolerate that type of behavior. And also to inform you that the security guard in the video is not a Love's employee and will not be allowed back on the Love's property. Okay. And let you know that the conduct um, does not align with our values. We're here at Love's. Okay, okay. Um, so you said that the 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 security guard, he, he he's not an employee of Love's? No, that's what they're saying. Love, that security guard that you caught, that was caught on video mm -hmm. is not a Love's employee. So and He's been banned from our property. So, what he what he works for he works for a third you know third party under loves something like that. I mean the well what I'm I guess what I'm saying is the security company that you guys hire to you know to secure the property he works for that company right? How do that company still work for you guys or still contract with you guys? If the, the guy is still with us or the company? The company. The company that he's um that he's employed under. Um I I'm not aware of that. Okay. Okay. That's Let me see if I can get someone on this line with you because um they gave us some information in reference to that situation mm -hmm. and just some of the information was that, you know, um, he wasn't part of uh, the Love's uh, employee, he was an employee, right. and that the situation had been uh, resolved. Mm -hmm. And uh, but I, I guess what I'm, I guess what I'm just asking is, what, what about the, what about the security company itself? You know, I, I understand that you know you guys don't want that particular gentleman, you know, back on the, you know, back on the property or any Love's property for that matter. You know, because his his demeanor, his you know you know threatening the driver that wasn't cool. You know the dis, the blatant disrespect for for the truck driver. You know what I'm saying? You know, there's ways to you know there's ways to communicate with with people, and his his demeanor all the all all the way around is is just not professional. So I, you know, I'm just kind of curious. You know, you guys don't want him, but he's supposed to be representing not only loves, but he's representing the the security company that he's that that he's that he works for. So my question is, what about the security company that you guys have? You know, have what's their stance on it, and are they still? you know, contracted through you guys to, you know, to send people like, you know, people up there to, to, to protect the drivers and, and, and the employees of loves. I mean, because if we got, if we got that one bad apple, ain't no telling, ain't no telling if they'll send somebody else just like them. You know what I'm saying? I understand what you're saying. Yes, sir. So, um, here. Yeah, from what I'm seeing here is that um, we're not sure if we're still contracted with that company. Um, okay, so You know, Love's is, is considered the one of the, you know, one of the safe havens that us truck drivers, you know, can go to. You know, I'm I'm not only a host of, you know, the Lockout Men podcast, but I am a truck driver myself. You know, I, I haven't myself personally, I haven't experienced any any blatant disrespect from, you know, any of the Love's uh, employees or you know third party contractors there but 
you know, seeing this video really, really disappointed me to the fact that, you know, that you guys will have somebody of that, you know, of that caliber, you know, representing your company. Yeah, um, honestly, just to be honest with you, they just gave us um, some information in reference to somewhat what went on and how it was handled. Mm -hmm. And what they're saying that as far as how it was handled is that, that the city security guard is no longer able to um, come on our lot. Now, I do understand what you're saying about the company itself. If mm -hmm. we were contracted through that company and are we still dealing with that company, mm -hmm. um, that part of it we were not aware of because that goes to be some more different. Mm -hmm. um, they're not, there is no um, extended information. I can actually send you to, and I am inquiring about it as you're speaking to me, mm -hmm. just so you know that you, you'll be able to find out what what the outcome of it was from, from your standpoint. Mm -hmm. um, at the present time, all they're telling us is that um, the security guard and video um, is not allowed on the property anymore. Um, professional drivers that keep America moving um, at this time, um, they're always welcome at love, 24-7, 365 days a week, mm -hmm. and a mm -hmm. month, a year and that Love's probably um, provides free parking for professional drivers at hundreds of locations across the United States. And I, I have input it in reference to about the company and stuff. And uh, what the answer that I'm getting back is that we don't know the answer to that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'll take it, I'll take it as a no comment. Uh, is it possible that I can get the company's name that's uh, – that's us that's securing that particular location well with that being saying um that's probably gonna be having to do with um privacy act okay um, and the safety of because of the fact that you're asking uh, about a situation that was at hand okay and so they'll probably look at the fact of um but i was i did hit one of my supervisors and asked them if they could um find out a little bit more information and what they're sending me back is what i'm addressing to you mm-hmm mm -hmm. At this point in time, LaShawn, um, that's what we have available. Um, well, I, it has been addressed to us. Well, I, I appreciate you taking the time talking to me. I, I really do appreciate it. What's, what's your name? Pammy. T Tammy with a T or Pam, uh, Pammy with a P? T with a as Tom. Oh, okay, Tammy. All right. All right. And customer service rep, That's that's what you are? Yes, sir. All right, all right. Well, Tammy, hey, I look, you know, I, I understand, you know, I, I understand the situation. It's kind of, it's kind of volatile to everybody that's involved. You know, I got a chance to uh, talk with the trucker about the situation, about what happened. Um, you know, unfortunately, he's, you know, he's advised by counsel not to, you know, not to go into. You know, not to go into deep about it. You know what I'm saying? But it was still an awesome conversation that I had with him. Um, and, you know, like I said, I, I I wanted to delve deep, a little bit more deeper into the story and see what was Love's stance about it. Because I'm I'm sure, you know, you guys don't don't stand or tolerate for any type of behavior, especially threats, you know, to to us truck drivers. You know what I'm saying? So I I just wanted to see what you guys was about, and then you know I'm I'm still gonna dig a little deeper to see if I can find a company, and you know get get what they have to say about uh say about the situation. So you know it's I mean this you know unfortunately this ain't the first time. I mean you know the other in incident I'm not sure if you're familiar with it, but the other incident was at at a TA. But you know this uh -huh. here at Love's. Two months ago. I'm sorry. You said it was um, the one at TA that was like a few months ago. Yes, ma'am. So you are familiar with that. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. I've seen it. Yeah. So you know we, you know we we you know truck drivers ourselves we we deal with <laughs> we we deal with so much out here we 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 don't need we we don't need our lives threatened by a security guard at at a place where we that we know that's a safe haven for us you know so but hey thank you very much tammy i really do appreciate it uh um 
uh, my phone number, I'm sure it popped up. So if somebody would like to add more, you know, more to the to the situation or something like that or to the story, you know, feel free to give me a call and uh, and I'll, I'll be looking out for it. So thank you very much. You're welcome, and thank you for calling and being concerned. I know, like you stated, um, with love being a safe haven for drivers, that's not what love is about. You know, um, a lot of times that we do have issues, we do try to get in there and get taken care of immediately, and it looks like I'm not sure what the outcome of it is instead of taken care of. Mm-hmm. So I'm not sure what the, the movement is for it, mm-hmm. but I'm pretty sure we'll be seeing it soon, of course. Um, and I know that driver is, you appreciate the fact that you're concerned about him. Yes, very much so. We we all, you know, like I said, we all are. I mean, we we deal we we deal with so much out here. You know what I'm saying? And you know, just to just for him to 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 pull up and and park, and then get told by one security guard that it's okay to park there, and and then come face to face with 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 this threat. You know, that's that's not cool. It's not cool at all. So, right. and I'm I'm sure that's you know back to what I was saying about uh, the company that you guys contracted with, you know that brought him there. What they say about it, you know what I'm saying? Are you got you yeah. know he's representing them, you know, and and if right. he's representing that company that way, what's love stance about you know about continuing dealing with with that company? You know, I mean, is there is there more guys like him that's employed by that company? You know, I'm sure you guys, you know, don't want don't don't want nobody with that type of demeanor representing loves. Correct. So. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure what they're going to do about the company itself, but I, it, it looks like they're out. They are because they sent this information multiple times. So that seems as though they're, they're working on it. They're making sure that loves and the driver, is, you know, still in good standing and as well as whatever they might be doing with that company and not really sure but hopefully everything will work out um for everyone yes ma'am yes ma'am tenfold on that tenfold on that well tammy thank you for uh thank you for your time i really do appreciate it um of course you know my name is la the podcast that I run is Lockout Men podcast uh you can check it out on all your podcasts uh platforms i i heart apple all of them and you can look me up at uh lockout men podcast on youtube so thank you for your time i really do appreciate it and um and you have a safe and blessed day today you too as well thank you sir i appreciate it all right now it's sound love goodbye you know we're all we're, we're, we're all the gear that you got on Half of that shit you're not even supposed to have. What you going to do with that? You a security guard, bro. You you not you 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 not uh uh patrolling the streets of uh Memphis. You ain't doing that. You're not patrolling the streets of Memphis. You're not in a cop car. You're not a 9 to fiver working for the city of Memphis. You're a security guard. You are, you are only there to, to watch for shoplifters and and disruptors. That's all you do, bro. That's it. And 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 and, and make sure that the lot is clear. That's it. That's what you're supposed to do. That's that's all you're supposed to do, bro. Ham. Ski. You cannot park here. Come on now. Come on now. All right. That's it. I'm done. I look, you like content like this, like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that bell on the way out the door. This is Lockout Men. I appreciate you guys listening to this podcast. Uh yo, got anything? Get at me. Lockout Men. Podcast gmail.com I'm gone peace y'all at the loves here in Memphis oh, oh, ass kick. <laughs> one shot make sure you record that too
Are you threatening me now? Emily had promised. I mean, I ain't yeah, said nothing. Yeah, Emily had promised. Go ahead. 